what is going on guys how are you guys doing today welcome back to another tutorial video uh if you guys remember the rubber crossing tutorial video that i made back in 2022 i had a recent comment saying that they did everything right and they grouped everything together but nothing was working so i'm back to give you guys a updated tutorial on how to make a rubber crossing so first thing what you want to do is you want to find a decent controller box you want to find controller box comps like this so and this comes with the controller box as well this is for other stuff that i'm not going to get into today so now that we have now we have a controller box we're going to take this and we're going to take all these parts that i'm selecting and i'm just going to get rid of that because we don't need that for these crossings next up what you want to do now once you got the controller box you want to just type in railroad crossing gate railroad crossing gates now keep in mind a lot of a lot has changed over the years so railroad crossing gates are pretty it's kind of hard to find a decent model but there's some good models out there so we're just going to use any railroad crossing gate for now uh we're just going to use any railroad crossing gate for now in fact i'm going to get one from my uh inventory that i got recent that i had got from the marketplace okay cool so we have our railroad crossing gate boom just like that so I'm just gonna put these gates right here I'm gonna put another one over here and it right now this is a tutorial so it doesn't matter I'm just gonna put them wherever but if you were making like a game or map then it would kind of matter but you kind of get the gist of it this is just for tutorial purposes next up what you want to do now is you want to type in railroad crossing lights but I'm gonna kind of give you guys and help you guys out Yes, there's kind of limited options of rubber crossing lights on the marketplace. And if you guys kind of notice, the rubber crossing lights that you were able to use has this little weird glitch thing or whatever. Like Roblox broke the model, so like the lights were sticking out the visors. Uh, I'm gonna help you out. So let's say you want to do a, let's say you want to use a W, uh, WCH rubber crossing light. You just type in WCH, and this is basically Western Cull Cullen's Haze, I believe. If correct me if I'm seeing it. Uh, wrong but we're going to uh, look for a light and the ones that I like to use that you've probably seen in one of some of the videos I like to use these these are the uh, these are the 12 by 24 RSID LED lights by Western by WCH so we're gonna get this and we're gonna get another light okay next up now once you have your light you want to align it on the po you want to align the light on the pole but you have to make sure you align this carefully you got to be careful with how you align it because if you align the lights a certain way then the gate is going to like not fully raise the gate is going to get stuck on like a certain part or whatever uh, and then you're going to have to go back and realign stuff all over again but it's pretty simple i i really i rarely run into this problem all the time the only time i run into this problem is if i'm rushing like to make a railroad crossing or if i'm rushing a project that's the only issue I run into, and I just don't have time to go back and redo everything because I'm, I'm usually busy. Okay, cool. So this may not be the best lineup, but it's something it'll do for now. It's just, like I said, this is a tutorial. Uh, next up, what you want to do now is after you find your light, you want to go in and type in railroad crossing sign. And this is basically going to like give you like cross bucks. So you can use whatever crosswalk you want if you use if you're making an American railroad crossing if you're making a Canadian uh, railroad crossing. Uh, I know the Canadian railroad crossings use the red and white crossbucks, but you just type in a crossbuck. You type in railroad crossing signs or crossbuck and you'll get one. So next up, you want to put the crossbuck on the uh, pole and you want to align it. You know, just align it decent. It doesn't have to be perfect, but. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other one over here. Alrighty. And then we're just going to kind of align this one on here as well. Track it like here. Just kind of make it kind of make it realistic. You know, how like a IRL railroad crossing would look like. Okay, cool. So, okay, cool. We got the gates. We got the lights. Now, we need the bells. So you're probably going to see me testing out some bells. You can get whatever bell you want to use. You can use a safe train bell, a GS bell, aka general signals, uh, a WCH bell, safe train, whatever you want to use is up to your 
discretion, but we're going to use these bells, which I believe they don't even have audio for them. Nope, I do not believe these bells have audios. That sucks. And as you guys can know, most of these bells don't have audio for a reason because of the Roblox audio update, so... Uh, let me try these. Usually these tutorials don't really take long, but... Yeah, they don't even have audio for them. Okay, that's no problem. Okay, so I kind of want to use those bells, but they don't have an audio for them. So... I should have one here that I got from the marketplace. Uh, but you can search up Railroad Crossing Bells and you can use whichever one you want, whichever, whichever brand you want. Uh, we're going to use this one. And this one's basically the early General Signal prototype bell that was on the marketplace at one point, but it got taken down from the marketplace for some odd reason at one point, but it came back. I was able to find it. So now... <laughs> This one has audio, but to kind of make it sound like the ones. There we go. So there we go. I can get rid of this one because I'm going to just duplicate this one. So I don't have to go back and mess with the sound pitch. So after that, we're going to put our bells on top of the, you know, on top of the railroad crossing where it belongs. And I'm just going to align it. I mean, it's up to you. I just kind of like to align things perfect, or almost perfect, and we're going to bring this one over here to this signal as well, and align it. Alright, there we go. So, okay, cool. So, now we got the railroad crossing gates, the lights, and the bells. Now, if you want to be extra, now if you want to be realistic with your signs and add like emergency info contact, all you can do is type in emergency info, and it'll pop up with a bunch of emergency info, uh, Railroad Crossing Signs, so we're going to kind of replicate this one to be CSX, or CSX, uh, Railroad Crossing. So I'm going to take this one, and this is optional, you don't have to add an emergency info sign, but if you kind of want to give your Railroad Crossing a realistic look, then you could add that for realism, but we're going to do the same thing like we did with the cross buck and the lights, put this here, make sure it's good. And I believe these white signs are like the older CSX signs, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I think, yeah, I think these white ones are the older CSX emergency info, info signs that are used on, that were used on, like, I think on some older CSX crosses, you can probably still find them, but anyways. So now here's the part where you kind of want to pay attention. You got your box, right? We're going to click the drop down and we're going to go to our configure configuration set and let's say and now as you know many railroad crossing lines have different uh many railroad crossing lines have different how to describe this basically railroad crossings on different lines have different sequences so for example bnsf and union pacific uh for example bnsf the when the railroad crossing is activated on a bnsf line basically the bells will stay activated until the gate is rise once the gate rises then the once the gate starts to rise the bell deactivates as for union pacific the bells activate when the gate is down and stays active until the gate is fully raised now with c with csx norfolk southern with csx norfolk southern and some other railroad across the lines basically the bells stay active until the gate is down and once the gate is fully down the bells deactivate deactivate so we're going to kind of replicate that so to do that we have these settings in our configuration you can see active until gate rise so this is if you're doing like a road cross on the union pacific line you can put no bell when gate rised or gate look whatever this is we can kind of play around with this but we're gonna do no bell when gate rise we're gonna also select active until gate is rise and then we're gonna scroll all the way down here until we see 
this part, no bell when gate lowered. We're going to also select that part. So now I'm going to go back and double check and make sure that everything is the way we like it. So, okay, cool. So here is the final part to the railroad cars. You want to make sure you have everything selected. Make sure you select everything. Make sure you have your control box selected. Make sure you have your rubber crossing gate selected. Make sure you have your rubber crossing light selected. And make sure you have your rubber crossing bell selected as well. And you do the same thing for the other crossing. So the most important thing is you need to have, you need to make sure that you select your control box, your rubber crossing gates, your rubber crossing lights, and your rubber crossing bells. And you need to make sure you have those select because if you do not select, if you don't select these, and whatever is not going to function properly. So once you have everything selected, you want to go up to your, you want to go up to the top and where it says group, you want to click group. Once you click group, there you go. Everything is selected and everything is connected. So now to test it out to make sure it works, we're going to click play. And there you go. So notice when you first join the game, your gates are going to go up. That's what you want it to do. You want your gates to go up. All the way like that. And now to make sure that they work. There you go. So there you go. There you go. And there you go. They work perfectly fine, then now to raise the gaze up, click your up arrow, and everything raises back up. And there you go, that is how you get, that is how you make a working railroad crossing in Roblox. Now there's different options. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm really basic with the railroad cross. I don't really like to go advanced with them unless I want to. But uh, this is just a simple, simple, the simple way to do it with the control box and all that stuff. Uh, but I hope this tutorial kind of helped y'all. I hope this tutorial helped y'all out a little bit more. I hope I went a little bit more in depth with this tutorial than I did with the last tutorial I did on these zero crossings. But if you if you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'm trying. I'm gonna try my best to answer the questions the best I can and the best the best to my knowledge. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this video helped you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.